The purpose of this video is to go over the basic tools and functions of the Flow2D Web Access Tool. So let's get started. The Web Access Tool page can be broken down into three different sections, the tabs, the tools, and the map pane. On the left, there are three different tabs, Change Model, Layer List, and Legend. The Tabs pane can be hidden to expand the map pane by clicking on the arrows in the lower left-hand corner. On the Change Model tab, users can select a study of interest by clicking on its label. From here, users can reset the map to go back to the list of all the studies by clicking on the Reset button. When the Reset button is pressed, there is a pop-up that asks if the user wants to zoom to the original map extent, select either yes or no. Also on the Change Model tab, users can read more about a study of interest by selecting Study Info. The Study Info pop-up provides study information such as project contact information, reasons for the study, and more. The next tab on the tab section is the Layers List. This tab shows all the available layers to view once a study and model have been selected. Because a study and model have not yet been selected, it is currently blank. Use the icon on the top right corner of the tab to make batch changes on all of the layers, such as turning them on and off, or expanding and collapsing them. The last tab in the tab section is the legend. This tab shows the symbology of all turned on layers once a study and model have been selected. There are many different tools along the top of the page. In the top left corner of the map are the zoom and search tools. Use the plus and minus signs to zoom in or out. Users can also use the scroll on their mouse or double click with the left button on a mouse on any place on the map to zoom to it. Users can additionally left click and hold onto the map to pan. The house button zooms and pans to the user's original map extent. The compass button takes the user to their current GPS location. The location feature only works if the browser is using an HTTPS connection and the user has allowed the site to know their location. If the tool is grayed out, the URL can be edited to include HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash at the very beginning. Once sharing is approved on the user's browser, the tool will appear white. Click on the tool to zoom to the current user location. Use the search bar to enter specific addresses or parcel numbers to zoom and pan to those locations. For faster search results, use the drop-down menu to select by either address or parcel number. The parcel can be input with either dashes or without. In the top right corner, there are model-specific inquiries which will be covered in a later video, such as Grid Info and the Still Under Development Tool animations. Additionally, there are some more advanced technical functions that are currently grayed out. When a gray tool is selected, the sign-in portal is circled in red, meaning that in order to use the tool, you need a password. In the same corner, the print, measure, and base map functions can also be found. The print tool offers users various options such as choosing a title, layout, format, and scale. There are also advanced options which allow the user to set the DPI, author, and copyright. A model legend printout is also available through a link towards the bottom of the window. When you are signed in, an additional link for an additional model legend is also available. The next tool is the measure tool. The measure tool has three different functions, area, length, and coordinate. The area tool allows the user to draw a polygon on the map and calculate the area of that polygon. You can use the drop-down menu to select units. The measure tool works similarly allowing the user to point and click to draw a line and to calculate its length. Again, use the drop-down menu to select units. 
Lastly, the Location tool allows for the user to select locations on the map and know the DMS or degree coordinate location. The Base Map Gallery allows the user to change the map in the background. There are options for aerial photography, streets, topo, and more. Along the top ribbon, the Home, About, Help, and Contact tabs that were covered in the first video are still available. Also located here is a sign-in portal. The sign-in link at the very top right gives users access to a greater variety of model inputs and outputs. Access to the sign-in username and password is granted by contacting the Special Projects branch. The map pane takes up the rest of the page. In the lower left-hand corner, the map scale and coordinates are found. The coordinates change based on the location of the user's cursor. Coordinates can also be queried at specific locations by clicking on the small icon in the corner and then selecting the location of interest. In the lower right-hand corner, the map overview can be toggled on and off. Studies on the map can be identified by clicking within the study boundary and then checking the Change Model tab to see which is highlighted. If the user clicks within two study boundaries or close to a shared border, they may receive a warning that multiple studies exist in that area, and both will become highlighted on the Change Model tab. Please make sure to watch our other videos for more help on navigating the Flow2D Web Access tool, and of course contact the Special Projects branch at fcdspecialproject at mail.maricopa.gov or at 602-506-1501 with any questions.